Now we will see different types of chemical reactions. Chemical reactions involving breaking and making of the bonds between the atoms to produce new substances. You must be aware that various chemical reactions occur in and around you. Let us take a look at combination reaction. Let us look at the one interesting phenomenon. Rehana and Reshma were having fun with colors in their drawing class. Rehana mixed few drops of red color with white color and got pink color. Reshma mixed yellow with red color to get orange shade. They also prepared violet by mixing red and blue and gray by mixing black and white colors. When you mix with your colors, what color do you get? We get a band of colors like the rainbow. When two or more substances combine, be it mixture or compounds, to form a single product, then the reaction is known as combination reaction. Let us look at the examples of combination reaction. 1. In the laboratory, you have performed an experiment for the formation of iron sulfide by mixing iron and sulfur. Fe solid plus S solid gives FES solid. 2. Increase in formation of carbon dioxide in environment leads to acid rains when it mixes with water vapor. H2O gas plus CO2 gas gives H2CO3 liquid. 3. You must have observed at new construction sites that wet cement with sand and gravel sets into concrete which imparts strength to the building. The chemical equation for this is written as 3CaO Al2O3 solid plus 6H2O liquid gives 3CaO Al2O3 6H2O solid plus heat. Students, do you know that plaster of Paris when mixed with water sets quickly into hard mass known as gypsum, which is the raw material in manufacturing cement? 2CaSO4 H2O plus 3H2O gives 2CaSO4 2H2O plus heat. Plaster of Paris is used in surgical bandages, casting and molding in dentistry, in making statues, decoration of roofs, crayons manufacturing, etc. For people involved in construction of buildings and interiors, Plaster of Paris is often referred to as POP. During combination of two or more reactants, the reactants may require or release or in other words, liberate heat with formation of products. Let us perform one activity. Take a small quantity of detergent powder or washing soda in your hand and add a little water to it. What do you feel? Your palm feels hot. Is there any change in temperature when water is added to the detergent? Yes, temperature increases. Let us look at one more activity. Take 100 milliliter of distilled water in two polythene bottles. This prevents heat loss. Note temperature of water in both bottles. Add about 5 gram of potassium nitrate to one bottle. Stir well. Note temperature of the solution. Add 5 gram of sodium hydroxide to the other bottle. Note the solution temperature. What do you observe in both the cases? Temperature of solution falls in first case. Temperature of solution increases in second case. What inferences can you draw? First is endothermic reaction and second is exothermic reaction. In the case of KNO3, there is absorption of heat during the reaction. Hence, the temperature of the solution falls. Reactions accompanied by absorption of heat are called endothermic reactions. In these reactions, the reactants require heat or absorb heat to form products. 
When NaOH dissolves in water, there is evolution of heat leading to a rise in temperature. Reactions where heat is evolved are called exothermic reactions. Students, we know that carbohydrates such as rice, potato, sago, etc. are major sources of energy in our diet. During digestion, these carbohydrates are broken down into glucose. Glucose combines with oxygen in our body and provides energy. C6H12O6 aqueous plus 6O2 gas gives 6CO2 gas plus 6H2O liquid plus energy. Is this reaction exothermic or endothermic? This reaction is exothermic. Now let us move to the decomposition reaction. Before that, look at this situation. Mary was helping her mother to make brown sugar for pudding. After some time, she obtained a black mass instead of brown with burning smell. What do you think happened? Sugar on heating formed carbon and water. In the above activity, a single reactant, sugar, has broken down to give a simple product C and H2O. C12H22O11 solid, when heated, gives 12C solid plus 11H2O gas. Such reactions are decomposition reactions. During industrial manufacturing of cement at a temperature above 1000 degrees Celsius, or 1,273, calcium carbonate decomposes as follows. CaCO3 solid gives CaO solid plus CO2 gas. These reactions are the decomposition reactions carried out by heating. These are also known as thermal decomposition reactions. See this activity. Take a spatula full of silver bromide on a watch glass. Note its color is pale yellow. Place the watch glass in sunlight. Observe the color after some time. Color turns to gray. 2 AgBr solid in presence of sunlight gives 2 Ag solid plus Br2 gas. Similar reaction is given by silver chloride. 2 AgCl solid gives in presence of sunlight gives 2 ag solid plus cl2 gas these reactions are used in black and white photography during the process of developing you must have realized that decomposition reactions require heat and light energy some decomposition reactions are brought about by acids cas solid plus 2HCl liquid gives CaCl2 solid plus H2S gas. Let us see how decomposition is carried out by electricity. Will it be possible for you to decompose water by heat or light energy? If you pass current from a 6 volt battery, is decomposition of water possible? When current is passed through acidified water, it decomposes to give hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. We come across various decomposition reactions around you in nature. The organic wastes are decomposed to manure and biogas which is used as fuel. Let us try to answer some questions based on what we have learnt. 1. Paste of substance A is used to decorate the roof of your home. 1. Name the substance A and write its formula. Answer. Substance A is a plaster of Paris. Its formula is 2CaSO4H2O. 2. Write the reaction of substance A with H2O. State the name of the product B. Answer. The reaction of substance A with H2O is as given. 2CaSO4H2O plus 3H2O gives 2CaSO4-2H2O plus heat. 
Name of the product, B, is gypsum. 3. Where and how is B useful? Answer. Gypsum is used as a raw material in cement industries. 2. State whether the following reactions are endothermic or exothermic. 1. 3 CaO Al2O3 solid plus 6 H2O liquid gives 3 CaO Al2O3 6 H2O solid plus heat. It is an exothermic reaction. 2. 2 CaSO4 H2O plus 3 H2O gives 2 CaSO4 2 H2O plus heat. It is an exothermic reaction. 3. KNO3 solid plus H2O liquid plus heat gives KNO3 aqueous. It is an endothermic reaction. 4. NaOH solid plus H2O liquid gives NaOH aqueous plus heat. It is an exothermic reaction. Let us take a look at the next type of reaction, that is, displacement reaction. Let us take a look at the activity. Take completely used two cells out of a wall clock, transistor, tape recorder, etc. Remove the material from inside. You will get a can that is made up of zinc. Press and make it flat. Cut into two strips. Take CuSO4 solution in two beakers, A and B. Dip this zinc strip in copper sulfate solution, A. Take copper sulfate solution in another beaker, B, for comparison. Keep another plain zinc strip aside also for comparison. Remove the zinc strip after about 5 minutes. Compare intensity of blue color of copper sulfate CuSO4 in beaker A and beaker B. Blue color fades in beaker A and becomes colorless. Compare the color of the zinc strips. A red-brown copper metal is deposited on zinc strip. You must have often observed during the game of football or hockey that one of the players is asked to come out of the field for some reason and some other player takes his position to complete the team. Similarly, exchange of elements to complete reaction. In the reaction shown, zinc replaces copper to form zinc sulfate. In activity, zinc, which is more reactive than copper, has removed copper from copper sulfate. CuSO4 aqueous plus Zn solid gives ZnSO4 aqueous plus Cu solid. When a more reactive element removes another element, having less reactivity from its compound, these reactions are termed as displacement reactions. It is also observed that iron and lead can also displace copper from its compounds. Complete the reaction and name the products. CuSO4 aqueous plus Fe solid gives FeSO4 plus Cu. Now let us take a look at double displacement reactions. AB plus CD is equal to AC plus BD. Let us perform this activity. Take 5 milliliter of copper chloride solution in test tube. Add 5 milliliter of potassium iodide to it. Note your observation. A brown precipitate is formed. This is cupric iodide. A brown substance insoluble in water is formed. This insoluble substance is known as precipitate. CuCl2 plus 2Ki gives CuI2 precipitate plus 2K Cl. The chemical reactions in which precipitates are formed are precipitation reactions. Another example is AgNO3 plus NaCl gives AgCl precipitate plus NaNO3. 
white precipitate of AgCl is formed by exchange of ions Ag plus and Cl minus between the reactants. Let us see one more example. BAS plus ZnSO4 gives BASO4 plus ZnS. BASO4 is a precipitate. Precipitate of BASO4 is formed by exchange of ions Ba plus and SO4 minus between the reactants. The reactions where a precipitate is formed by exchange of ions between the reactants are examples of double displacement reactions. Recall this activity. We have added potassium chromate K2CrO4 to barium sulfate BASO4 solution. So, 1. What was the color of precipitate formed? Answer. The color of precipitate barium chromate formed was yellow precipitate. 2. Name the precipitate. Answer. The name of the precipitate is barium chromate. 3. Write the balanced equation for the reaction. Balanced equation for the reaction is as given. Barium sulfate aqueous plus potassium chromate aqueous gives barium chromate solid plus potassium sulfate aqueous. 4. Is it a displacement or double displacement reaction? Answer. It is a double displacement reaction. Students, the reactions like combination reaction, decomposition reaction, displacement reaction and double displacement reaction takes place with different speeds. The speed or rate at which a reaction takes place depends on various factors like the particle size of the reactants, concentration of the reactant, nature of the reagent, conditions of the reaction, etc.